Hello Windows Universe. In this video we will look at an issue that you've asked about. What to do if this Windows security at a glance page is blank in Windows 10. We will also link an article in the description down below that will go much more into depth. Now, if you've done a system restore from before the problem started, then it might be a first step. Just restore your computer and see if that fixes the problem. Next, if you're on a network, check with your system admin. It might be that your sys admin has blocked access to one or more Windows 10 settings pages. Now, if you're the system admin, check the settings in the group policy and the registry to ensure that they are all in working order. My next suggestion would be to run the Windows Troubleshooter. So, let's go to Troubleshooter. Go to Additional Troubleshooters. Find Windows Update Troubleshooter and run it. After it is finished running, Restart your computer and go and check to see if the problem has been resolved. If that doesn't work, we can then try a system file checker. Open a command prompt. As an administrator. And type in sfc space slash scan now. And hit enter. The scan will take a while. The FFC utility will look for corruptions and fix any when you restart. When it's done, restart your computer and see if the problem's corrected. Now, another possible fix is running the DISM. Once again, let's open a command prompt. As an admin. And type in... D-I-S-M space slash online space slash clean up one word hyphen image space slash restore health one word and hit enter. The scan will take around 15 minutes, or maybe even longer, depending on the level of corruption. After that, restart your computer and see if the problem is corrected. Now, we can look at the DLL files. There might be a problem there, so we can re-register them. Let's open the command prompt again. Always as an administrator. And you want to type in these three commands and hit enter after each one of them. R E G S B R 32 space J S C R I P T and hit enter. Then type in R E. Well, at the dialog box, then type in R E G S V R 32 space b b script hit enter and finally type in r e g s v r 32 space backslash i m s h t m l and hit enter then restart your system and see if this helps. We can also open the Windows Services Manager and ensure that some of the systems are at their default values. Let's find Microsoft Defender. Antivirus Service. Right click on it. Let's take a look at the properties and set it, make sure it's set to automatic. Then go to Windows Security Service Center, right? And make sure it's set to manual. The Windows Defender Firewall, make sure it's set to automatic. 
the Microsoft Defender Antivirus Network Inspection. Should be set to manual. After checking these, restart your system and see if the problem is corrected. We can also try and we reset Windows security and the firewall settings to their, to their default values to correct the problem. For Windows security, go to a command prompt with admin privileges. In the command prompt, type in sec edit space slash configure slash c f g space percentage w i n d i r percentage backslash i n f backslash d e f l t b a s e dot i n f slash d b space d e f l t b a s e dot s d b slash verbose b e r b o s e and hit enter. Now, you might lose some of the user accounts in the login screen when you restart or switch users. If that happens for each missing account, type in net local group then the account name, slash add, and it will re-add them. To reset the firewall, search fi for firewall. Click on Restore Firewalls to Default. And just follow the prompts. Your next option is to track down the program through a clean boot state. This starts the system in a minimum amount of drivers and startup programs. That way you can enable one process at a time to isolate the culprit. We go more in depth on how to do this in the article linked. If that has still not corrected the problem, then you have the option of resetting Windows. This will install, reinstall Windows 10 and keeps your personal files, but it removes apps and drivers you've installed since. It eliminates changes you made the settings. You are left with any apps that your PC manufacturer installed when you got the computer. To do this, open settings, go into update and security, go to recovery, click on get started, and just follow the prompts to restore your system. And in extreme cases, you may need to repair Windows using an installation media. Go to Microsoft and download the ISO. Create a bootable USB or DVD drive. Boot from the media and choose Repair Your Computer. Then follow the prompts. We link to a much more in-depth step-by-step guide on how to do this at the, in the article linked in the description down below. For more answers to your questions, comment below or visit our website at thewindowsclub.com. If this video helped, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. We are always uploading new content to help you master your digital universe. Thanks for watching and have a great day.